Hey guys, so this is the look we'll be doing. It's nothing crazy, it's very simple. Uh, it's just, this is my everyday look. Um, I just thought I'd film something quick, you know, in the morning while I'm getting ready for university, you know. Um, if you want to see how I did this hairstyle, please go to my other video or maybe I'll have a link here or something. Uh, how to rock six different pixie styles. This one is the faux hawk. I believe it's number five on there. Um, yeah. So let's get started, guys. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put liquid foundation all over my face and down my neck. And then I'm just going to rub it in with my hands. And then it's time for a coffee break, you know how it is in the morning. Now I'm just applying a little bit of lip balm. And then I'm going to start on my eyebrows. And I'm just using an angled brush and the Styla palette. It's called the Styla in the No eyeshadow palette. And from that palette I'm using the color Driftwood to do my eyebrows. Now I'm taking this really light concealer and doing my highlights basically, or contouring. I'm not really sure what people call this. I call it highlights, but I know when people add like shimmer to their face, that's what they call highlights. Any hoozles, I am applying this under my eyes in kind, kind of like a triangle shape. And then I'm applying it to my cupid's bow and the top of my chin, and then in a T shape down my forehead, like on my forehead, down my nose in a T-shape. Now I'm going to take the dark brown from this same contouring wheel and do my low lights basically. I'm going on an angle, I'm making an angled line from my ear um, to my lip. I'm going to fade it out later, this is kind of just a general outline. If you want more on contouring, I do have a video on it, so go check that out afterwards. This is just what I do for my everyday routine. And yeah, anyways, I'm going to go from my ear to my lips, and then I'm going to go on the top sides of my forehead, if that makes sense. You'll see it in a minute here. 
like basically right above my eyebrow, yeah, like the side of my forehead. And then the very, very top of your forehead, like almost in your hairline. And then I'm also going to do um, down the sides of my nose, from my eyebrows down to my nose, like the tip of my nose. <laughs> And then I'm going to take my foundation powder. This powder matches the liquid foundation that I put on right at the beginning. I'm going to take this on a fluffy brush and pat this all over my face. And then my camera crapped out, sorry guys, so you didn't get to see much of that. But now I'm taking this darker powder, and as you can see it's quite a bit darker than my foundation powder. And um, go over the low lights I made with that contouring wheel. Sorry, I'm trying to get my like box together and just darken that all up and don't worry we're going to use a beauty blender and blend it all out later but we're just roughly going over everything now Now I'm just taking some blush and going right above that contour and adding some pink there. And I like to do mine a bit harsher and then use the beauty blender to like make it less harsh I guess would be the words to use. <laughs>
All right, now I'm going to take my beauty blender. I'm going to make it wet and then squeeze out the extra water. And then I kind of like to tap and drag my beauty blender just because I find it works better than just tapping it. And I'm going to blend all those harsh lines out. Now I'm just using a shimmer powder and you can get these like literally anywhere just for a bit of a highlight. And now I'm just cleaning up my eyebrows in any spots that I felt um, I didn't cover them enough with the eyeshadow before. And since I have time, I'm going to do my eyeshadow, and I use this fluffy brush throughout the whole thing, and the Styla palette, because um, I like to keep it simple. The first color I'm using is Desert from the Styla palette, uh, and I'm just applying that all over my eyelid, and then blending it out um, upwards to my eyebrow. And I'm literally just like slapping the color on. The good thing about this brush is it blends everything for you. I highly recommend everyone getting a big fluffy brush like this. And now I am taking the color Rain and just going in my crease with it and just darkening that all up. It's going to be like a daytime smoky eye basically. And I'm just blending that out. And now I'm taking Driftwood, the same color I used to do my eyebrows, and just going in the very outer corner of my eyelid, just darkening that up just a teeny little bit and now I'm going to squeeze this fluffy brush so it's quite a bit smaller just so I have more control over where to put the color and I'm going to use the color earth and go again on the outer corner of my eyelid and just darken that up even more And then I'm going to clean off my brush. I do it on my arm because I'm, you know, a monkey. And then just re-go over everything, blending it out. And now I'm taking that color Rain again and doing my lower lash line with it. Alright, now I'm going to curl my natural eyelashes with a just a regular eyelash curler, nothing crazy. I just look like so unimpressed right there. And I have like old mascara still on my eyelashes, so they stick to the curler a little bit and it hurts like an ass. It just hurts, okay girl? And then I use my fingers to kind of fan out my eyelashes so they don't clump together. And now I'm using waterproof mascara and just darkening those bad boys up.
And now I'm taking a black waterproof eyeliner and doing my, uh, I'm drawing a blank. It's like your upper waterline. Your tight lining, that's what it's called. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, that's gonna bother me. Yes, I'm tight lining, and I like to do just the outer half of my eye because I like that kind of like baby doll look where like your eyelashes look longer on the outside and I find that just doing black eyeliner on just tight lining the outer half of my eye helps with that effect. Sorry, I really needed to like resharpen this eyeliner but I couldn't find my sharpener anywhere and so like the eyeliner kept like stabbing me in the eye and I was like Meh! So, if you see me blinking a lot, that's why. pretty simple. I like to keep it fairly simple for the mornings just because I don't have a lot of time to do it. Uh, altogether my makeup took me about 18 minutes, 15 to 18 minutes, and then my hair about the same, 15 to 18 minutes. So it really doesn't take that long to do. Um, I don't do a lot with my makeup in the morning because I really just like to do a lot of contouring and I like to make my skin look perfect and then if I have time I'll do eyeshadow, if not I'll just curl my eyelashes because I think it's a very nice like natural look to go with just like contouring and a little bit of blush and stuff like that so yeah um I think that's it guys thank you so so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel I think I don't know, it's one of these. I always forget. <laughs> Please hit that button and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you do recreate any of my looks, please tag me in them on my social medias. On Twitter, it's at K S B E L L A N G E R. And on Google, Tumblr, and Instagram, it's uh, XOXO Pretty Bitches. But most of all, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you, Pretty Bitches, in my next video.